In this video, let us solve problems based on relationship between the zeros and the coefficients of cubic polynomial. And the problem that we've got here uh, reads like this. Verify that 3 comma minus 1 and minus 1 by 3 are the zeros of the cubic polynomial. P of x equals 3x cubed minus 5x squared minus 11x minus 3. And then verify the relationship between the zeros and its coefficients. Well, uh, Till the previous videos, uh, we were uh, straight away verifying the relationship between the zeros and the coefficients once the zeros are known. But here we first have to verify that these 3 comma minus 1 and minus 1 by 3 are the zeros of the cubic polynomial. And then do we have to verify the relationship between the zeros and its coefficients. So what does it mean when they say that we need to verify the 3 comma minus 1 and minus 1 by 3 are the zeros of the cubic polynomial? This 3x cubed minus 5x squared minus 11x minus 3. That means we have to substitute all these one by one in the place of x and see that each time we get zero. And then we can verify that these are the zeros of the given equation. And then we can go on to verify. So the, the first thing that we have to do is uh, we've got the equation p of x equals 3x cubed minus 5x squared minus 11x minus 3. So let us start off with p of uh, 3. So in the place of x, we need to substitute 3. So... Here we are. So 3 times 3 cube is 3 cube is 27. 27 times 3 is 81. Minus uh, 5 times 3 squared. 3 squared is 9. 9 times 5 is uh, 45. Minus 11 times 3 is uh, 33. Minus 3. So minus 45 and minus 33 makes a minus 78. And a minus 78 and a minus 3 makes a minus 81. So that is 81 minus 81, which is equal to 0. So therefore, we verify that 3 is indeed uh, the 0. Is one of the zeros of the cubic equation given here. So the next one is, uh, the next one we've got is, yes, so p of uh, minus 1 will be 3 times minus 1 the whole cube, minus 5 times minus 1 the whole square, minus 11 times minus 1, minus 3. So what we've got here is uh, 3 times uh, minus 1 the whole cube is minus 1 the whole cube is minus 1 because minus 1 into minus 1 is plus 1 plus 1 into minus 1 is minus 1 so minus 1 into 3 is minus 3 so minus 1 the whole square is plus 1 plus 1 into minus 5 is minus 5 minus 11 minus 1 is plus 11 and minus 3 so minus 3 minus 5 is minus 8 minus 8 minus 3 is minus 11 so minus 11 plus 11 equals 0 so again we verified that negative 1 is also one of the zeros of the given cubic equation and finally, we've got to verify if minus 1 by 3 is a 0. So let us draw a line here. So we've got minus 1 by 3. And this has to be like 3 times minus 1 by 3 the whole cube. Minus 5 times minus 1 by 3 the whole square. Minus 11 times minus 1 by 3 and minus 3. So on solving this, we get... So one, one of the threes and all the threes are going to get cancelled and you're going to have a square here. It doesn't matter for the one because it's the same anyways. So negative one should be cubed though. This is, this, this square applies only for three. Let me, this is only for three. So minus one, the whole cube is minus one. Minus one by three square is nine because one of the threes got cancelled. Minus one, the whole square is plus one. Plus one into minus five is minus five. Divided by three squared is nine again. Minus 11 into minus 1 is plus 11 divided by 3 and minus 3. So taking LCM, this will be divided by 1 and it has to be the LCM is 9. So this has to be multiplied by 9. So we will get whole by 9. This should be multiplied by 3. So we'll get minus 1 minus 5 plus 33 is minus 27. And minus 27 minus 5 is minus 32. Minus 32 minus 1 is minus 33. So therefore, minus 33 plus 33 divided by 9 equals 0 by 9, which is equal to 0. So minus 1 by 3 is also verified that it is a 0 of the cubic equation. So now that we've done this, we need to verify the relationship between the zeros and its coefficient. All right. So now we've confirmed that 3 minus 1 and minus 1 by 3 are the zeros of the given polynomial, of the given cubic polynomial. 
so now we need to verify the other stuff so now let alpha be equal to 3 beta be equal to minus 1 and gamma be equal to minus 1 by 3 so then the first relationship is the sum of the z zeros right which is alpha plus beta plus gamma that should be equal to 3 minus 1 minus 1 by 3 which is equal to you take lcm so multiply this by 3 multiply this by 3 so you get the lcm is 3 9 minus 3 3 times 3 is 9 and minus 1 into 3 is minus 3 and minus 1 which is 9 minus 4 so we get 5 by 3 the sum of the zeros alpha plus beta plus gamma is 5 by 3 now this has to be verified with now what is alpha plus beta plus gamma alpha plus beta plus gamma equals uh, minus b by a so minus b by a is what so the equation given here the equation that was mentioned is p of x equals 3x cube minus 5x square minus 11x minus 3 now here this is a this is b this is c and this is d Right, so minus b by a would be minus of minus 5 divided by 3, which is plus 5 by 3. So, therefore, the first condition is verified that is, the sum of the zeros is indeed equal to minus b by a. So, the next one is uh, the product of the zeros taken two at a time. So, that is nothing but alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha. Now this should be equal to what alpha is 3, 3 times minus 1 plus minus 1 times minus 1 by 3 plus minus 1 by 3 times 3. So it will be minus 3 and this will be minus 1 into minus 1 is plus 1 by 3. This will be 3, 3 gets cancelled and what we have is a negative 1. So again taking LCM, this will multiply by 3, this will multiply by 3. The denominator will be 3 and we'll have minus 9 plus 1 minus 3. This will be multiplied by 3, right? So minus 9 minus 3 is minus 12. Minus 12 plus 1 is minus 11 by 3. That is what is the product of the zeros taken two at a time. So we've got alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha is minus 11 by 3. So let us see what is it in terms of coefficients. In terms of coefficients, it is C by A, right? Alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha equals c by a so c by a will be equal to c is minus 11 and a is 3 so we've got it so therefore the sum of the products of the zeros taken two at a time that is alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha is indeed equal to c by a so that is verified as well so we've got one more last thing to verify that is nothing but the product of the zeros which is alpha beta gamma and it is equal to minus d by a so alpha beta alpha is 3 times beta is minus 1 times minus 1 by 3 which is equal to 3 and 3 gets cancelled so minus 1 times minus 1 is plus 1 so this is equal to plus 1 minus d by a is uh, minus of minus 3 by 3 minus d by a so that is again equal to minus into minus is plus 3 and 3 gets cancelled that is again equal to 1 so therefore the product of the zeros that is alpha times beta times gamma is also equal to minus d by a and hence verified so this ends this problem nothing different you just have to remember the relationship it is the the steps are as same as the problems that we solved uh, based on the relationship between the zeros and the coefficients of a quadratic polynomial so no different to this one this is just a cubic polynomial you've got another zero extra here and uh, expressions change of course and we've got three things to verify here as opposed to two things the quadratic polynomial so this ends this problem as well as this video i'll see you in the forthcoming videos with more problems based on the relationship between the zeros and the coefficients of cubic polynomial